we have accomplished in the past several years at White Plains Hospital has been amazing. Our strategic vision has been to expand our campus, update our facilities, and bring advanced services to our community. We know now, since the pandemic in 2020, that having high quality health care in your community is more important than ever. I got a phone call from my cardiologist, and he said, I'd like to see you and your wife tomorrow at the latest. I'm like, well, that doesn't sound good. So we went in and it was uh, determined that I had at least five blockages. You need open heart surgery. I spoke to Dr. Mitchler here. I met his entire surgical team. Once I met him, I was sold. As the saying goes, you had me from hello. Bill Haas had a quintuple bypass, five bypasses. Not the ordinary and certainly something that is more complex requires intense focus on the part of the team. Imagine a blood vessel on the heart that's smaller, narrower than a strand of spaghetti. And that blood vessel needs to be opened and then a new tube connected to it, sewn to it, using sutures that are finer than a strand of hair to bring new blood, new nourishment to the heart. And doing that five times while the heart is stopped and the clock is running is a very challenging and delicate operation. Bringing the cardiac thoracic teams from Montefiore together with White Plains Hospital means our patients no longer need to travel outside of our community to receive advanced cardiac procedures and surgery. With open heart surgery present at White Plains Hospital, this ushers in an era of full service electrophysiology. And I happened to be uh, doing a walkthrough for a client of mine who was purchasing a property. I almost had to sit down. That was the worst AFib that I had had ever. And that's when I was given the opportunity to see Dr. Wong he suggested that I go through the Watchman procedure. It's a one-time, minimally invasive procedure that prevents stroke without having to be on long-term blood thinners. Since then, I was recommended to him again for the loop recorder. Like everything else today, it works uh, off an app. We are able to maintain surveillance of their arrhythmias and their cardiovascular devices from home. It is remarkable technology. Now that I have this monitoring service in my chest, I'm ready to rumble. In January of 2021, I came home and noticed that I looked a little yellow. When I called my doctor, he said, I think you need to come home right away, go to the ER, and we'll figure out what's going on. They did a bunch of tests, and it was confirmed that I had pancreatic cancer. The workup showed that as far as we could tell, it hadn't spread beyond the pancreas. I like to consider myself to, as a, an educated consumer of medical information. Sasan Rai is amongst the best of the best. I told him what he needed to have done, which was the Whipple operation. So the Whipple is a pretty complicated operation that involves removing the head of the pancreas along with the first part of the small intestine, the bile duct, and uh, the surrounding lymph nodes. Got chemotherapy after the surgery, as most patients with pancreas cancer do. I spent many days here in 2021 getting chemotherapy uh, and also recovering from my surgery, and I marveled at how uh, Sasan so Royai and Dan Costin integrated their approach. They were always in touch. I was here 80 different times last year, over eight months, between the surgery and chemotherapy and all the other different infusions that I had to have. So imagine if I was running into New York City 80 different times. That's a completely different experience. It was clearly one of the biggest and best decisions of my life. And I'm always speaking it's part of uh, what I do so I'm used to having a sore throat or my voice being very hoarse cancer was the last thing on my mind so the ear nose and throat doctor he recommended me to Dr. Asomni at uh, White Plains Hospital on his initial visit I noticed he had a pathologic lymph node clearly with uh, primary tonsil cancer there were two treatment options 
The first is chemotherapy and radiation, which is tried and true, but due to advances in technology, we offer him a transoral robotic resection of his primary cancer, also known as TORS, transoral robotic surgery. We're the first hospital in Westchester County to perform a successful uh, TORS surgery in 2014. Since then, we've had excellent outcomes and Chris is just one in a long line of successful patients. When the ENT referred me to Dr. Asomni, I asked him about getting second opinions and uh, he said, that's fine. But what I will tell you is that Dr. Asomni is, is one of the, the leaders in the TORS surgery. What we've been looking to institute is more tertiary level or laryngology care. The sort of cases and challenges that are presented more in an academic center are issues that we're dealing with now at White Plains Hospital. My biggest fear was dying, having three kids and leaving. I would thank uh, White Plains Hospital because I wouldn't, I wouldn't be where I am now if I didn't go through that. As the complexity of the patients in the hospital setting increases, it's the standard of care to have an in-house dedicated 24-7 critical care team, especially as we develop and brought on our cardiac surgery. It helps to streamline the care of the patient. There is a number of increasingly complex procedures and disease processes we can manage now that we weren't doing in 2018. Our new intensive care unit, first of all, it just increases our size and it gives us the space and the equipment and the logistics to manage the increasingly complex patients that are coming in, whether it's through the emergency room, through the operating rooms, uh, whether it's cardiac surgery, whether it is our new thrombectomy uh, service um, and managing our neurointerventional patients. Thrombectomy has become the standard of care to reverse a stroke. We now have the science and the ability to actually reverse that. We do this all through microcatheters performed under x-ray guidance or angiography. It's very similar to what cardiologists did in the past, and now we have the tools to make it safe to place in someone's brain and remove a clot and reverse a stroke. Families are changed forever when you can bring back a mother, a father, a sister, a brother, or a grandmother and now have them speak again, understand speech, be able to hug their child, be able to hug their grandchild, and be able to actually live again. Over the last five or 10 years, I think White Plains Hospital has put it in overdrive. The dramatic expansion of high-end, complex procedures that are in line with things you get in the best hospitals in America. Uh, this is an exciting time to be at White Plains Hospital. Every year, I see leaders in their field choose White Plains Hospital, and they see the vision, and frankly, it's contagious. White Plains Hospital is now a regional healthcare center. So not only Westchester County, the Hudson Valley, but we are poised, prepared to care for patients in New York, Connecticut, and beyond. This is my town, this is my, my neighborhood, and yet uh, the excellence that I experienced here, you know, it was almost emotional. When I was leaving here, you know, I just couldn't thank them enough. Nowhere is the care as good as it is here at White Plains. It's like a blessing to have this facility in my backyard.